In this video, I want to show you how you can enhance your Kubernetes experience by finding and installing kubectl plugins with Crew, a tool that we've been developing under the Kubernetes project. Let's start with a simple question. Why do you think people install kubectl plugins? Well, the answer is to make their kubectl experience even more awesome. However, finding these plugins and installing them yourself can actually be difficult. Not all the plugins are packaged for your favorite package manager like Homebrew or AppGet, but most plugins are packaged for a particular tool, and that's called Crew. In this episode, I'll talk about the Crew project and show you how to use it to make your Cube Control experience even more awesome. This is a topic very near and dear to my heart because I'm one of the co-creators and maintainers of the project. First of all, Crew is a plugin manager for Cube Control. It's open source, and you can find it on GitHub or its website, crew.six.kates.io. Crew lets you find and install kubectl plugins. There are almost 100 plugins available on Crew today for kubectl. If you really think about it, that's a lot, because actually just over a year ago, kubectl plugins weren't really a thing. If you don't have Crew, go to crew.six.kates.io install it to your machine and come back and I'm gonna be doing some demos. I have installed Crew from its installation documentation, so let's get to play with it. To run Crew, you need to type kubectl crew. And as you might be able to tell, Crew itself is a kubectl plugin. So if you take a look at its output, you're gonna see quite a few commands available here. To find plugins, we have to type kubectl crew search. So this command is going to print all the plugins that are available on Crew. If you want to filter it down by a particular keyword, I can type kubectl crew search and, and append a keyword such as rbac, and this is going to show me the plugins that have rbac in its name or description. Alternatively, you can go to the crew-index repository and find a list of plugins available there as well. It actually links to the repository of each plugin, so you can click on them and see their documentation and how to use the plugin and what the plugin does. So let's try to learn more about a particular plugin. Here, if I type kubectl crew info and give it a plugin name, such as tree, it's going to tell me all about this plugin, which is what does this plugin do? Where can I learn more? So let's go ahead and try to install this plugin. To do that, I type kubectl crew install tree. And as you can see, crew goes ahead and sets up this plugin on my machine. So right now I can go ahead and type something like kubectl tree dash dash help and I'll be able to get some information about this plugin. So if I try to go ahead and try to use this plugin, I type its name and I give it a particular resource and you're going to be able to see that what this plugin does is to print ownership resources between the objects that I have in my Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, Crew is actually pretty easy to use. If Crew didn't exist, you'd be trying to find these plugins from the internet yourself and try to install it either manually or using other package managers. Not all plugin developers package their plugins for all sorts of Linux distros, Mac, and Windows separately. And Crew helps them distribute their plugins pretty easily to all sorts of platforms. That's all for this video. Now you know how to install and use Crew. So go ahead and install it to your machine and play with it. In the next video, I want to talk to you about how to keep your plugins updated and how to keep things under control with Crew.